Because we're just going to cut it loose. Um, again, I don't know spoilers about this. I mean, I was looking on, you know, some kind of Reddit thread, which I rarely do in my life. And I was there on Reddit and uh, that stuff, you know, sometimes it, it can all be rumors or make you go. It makes me even go more crazy sometimes reading that stuff. So, um, anyway, like I'm, I was really irritated like an hour ago, just reading a report that Dylan Riola was still talking to the university of Georgia. I'm frustrated by this whole process. I really am. And now even tomorrow when there's going to be a commitment video, I'm to the point where let's just, let's just get to playing football. You know, let's just, you know, enough with like all the drama and is Dylan Riola going to be here or not? You know, let's just start to get to playing football and winning games. And and let's see Dylan actually out there on the field. Because this whole thing's annoying how Dylan Riola, you know, how he has to have some elaborate recruiting video to Nebraska. And I'm I'm sure it'll be a happy time for Nebraskans for a little bit. But just the way that he went about it a little bit, the way that he went about it, it's just not really my style. I wouldn't like sling, you know, Georgia along or sling... Nebraska along and sling their fans along in the process um, more, you know, waiting to see what you're going to do. And interesting thing, though, I thought, honestly, today I read a report from Will Fong of 24-7 that he was still in contact with Kirby Smart, but still kind of leaning Nebraska. But now we're going to connect the dots, and this is kind of the point of the video is that Matt Rule last night went out to Ainsworth, Nebraska. I looked up where that was. Pretty cool part of the state, like near Valentine, the Sand Hills region. Like probably a rural town, maybe like 2,000 people live there. It's where Carter Nelson is, the tight end recruit. Four-star, 96 on, uh, you know, the recruiting websites. And Carter Nelson lives up there. And and it was really nice for Matt Rule and staff. They ditched Dylan Riola and went up all the way to Ainsworth, Nebraska to take in a basketball game. And then they surprised some people at a local Ainsworth wedding, which is incredible. That's stuff that you dream of, you know, doing, you know, whether it's going and, and crashing a wedding up there or, or for that lovely couple then to have Matt Rule and staff there is special, but it gets you thinking like they would ditch Dylan Riola, and then there were just rumors out there, and now it all makes sense why he went to Lincoln because he's been in Lincoln a million times, but now they're like filming a commitment video. Like they're using Memorial Stadium, and you know they're, he's, go, he's putting on all the red and everything, and maybe today was you know championship volleyball game, and they had you know basketball games going on in Nebraska, so he didn't want to take the stage from that. And then tomorrow, tomorrow morning, probably around noon, he's going to probably announce his commitment around noon tomorrow. I, I, I get That would be the perfect scenario. That's what would likely happen. It's frustrating. Now you're sitting here on Sunday night and nothing has transpired with Dylan Riola and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and just fearful of Georgia. You're fearful of it because it's not like Nebraska's offer probably got like really good overnight. And with Dylan Riola... I mean, he was committed to Georgia for a very, very long time. So he's been flip flopping through this whole process. And I'm just kind of I'm just kind of getting sick of it. I'm getting tired of it. I guess it's my age is showing. You know, I think it if you're an 18 year old kid, like it might be cool to get all those clicks, all those views on a, on a big commitment video. And, and this is the time in his life where he's like the most coveted person in his life is as an 18 year old athlete. He's the number one recruit in college football as a quarterback. And odds are, odds are he probably will, maybe he'll get to the NFL, but I don't know if the the odds aren't probably with incoming uh, college players making it to the NFL. So this could be the most famous that the guy can be in his whole life. And I guess that he's really supposed to enjoy, you know, this experience with his family. Um, But still, like the the committing process... Again, like, people don't know where Dylan's going to go. And then if Dylan commits to Nebraska, like, is he out recruiting already? It's like, you just want to know. And um, so it's up to him. It's up to his family. I would probably go about it differently. Um, I, I just think it's taking forever, and it's 
man, it's uh, and and then if he ends up going to Georgia and 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 and, and spending this whole visit in Lincoln just doing this, what are you trying to drive up the price of Georgia? Like, I don't really know. I don't really know what to expect. But but odds are, I'm leaning now towards it makes sense that he's back in Lincoln to film this video. That 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 it's why it makes sense. Matt Rule left, you know, because he wants to give Dylan space with his family. And and he's been the Lincoln a million times, but this makes so much sense. Um, and it's going to be probably released shortly after this video. So I'm sure Dylan will officially commit and everybody will talk about it here um, on YouTube or wherever. But this is kind of a snapshot of where are we right now in this process, sitting here 730 in Nebraska time, 830 here on the East Coast. Where are we with Dylan Riola and this commitment with Nebraska. I mean, some of you guys might have heard insights or, again, people that are on the local scene, everybody's kind of heard everything and and you don't know what to believe anymore. So we're not going to probably make another video on Dylan until, you know, until like there, there's a big shift and, and he might, you know, end up going elsewhere or is he going to be committed to the University of Nebraska um, at this stage, I'm just kind of getting tired of all the drama. Whoever's going to be quarterback is going to be quarterback. Of course, you want Dylan Riola. Um, so I think that Matt Rule, though, you know, this is this is big on Matt Rule. Like Matt Rule has a decent judge and eye for character. I don't think he would tell McCord and everybody uh, to uh, to leave if he didn't believe that Riola was also committing. So. This is on Matt Rule. You you got to know who you're working with, and and you're working with the Riolas and and Donnie and Dylan and um, and Dominic Riola. So you're working with that family, and Matt Rule seems to entrust this family as Kyle McCord is now off to Syracuse, and um, Dylan Riola now is just you know the the waiting game just continues. It could be agonizing.